Good morning. Well, you can probably tell from the video, I think it's pretty evident, even to somebody like Buck, that hey, we're talking about mini excavators. See here, we got three on the stage as well. As Chris was right, when we were first assigned this project, my thought was, we're screwed. We're toast. This is not something that I thought that I could justify a premium for, sell the features and benefits and advantages for. And really, about a third of the way through the, this process of looking at these machines, still kind of in that mindset. However, as we went through it, found a few things, several things that uh, I think we have a better advantage of what they have or something that's exclusive to Caterpillar. First thing I want to do is introduce the team here. We've got Mark Nash from the rental store, Gary Brown from the product support group, Jamie Thompson from the general line sales, and myself, Brian Wilson from the general line sales. This is going to be kind of our quick agenda today. We're going to talk about some overall mini excavator statistics. We're going to get into the, uh, the new E2 version of the 303.5 which we just happened to grab uh, from the Athens plant a couple of days ago. We haven't had a chance to put it in the dirt yet. Uh, we're going to do some comparisons between the three machines. We'll take a quick break. We're going to turn the machines around, look on the backside, engine serviceability, some other items, and we'll uh, wrap up with questions and answers. Just to give you an overall global perspective of where this market is for Caterpillar. You can see here we've got Globally, we have four locations where these machines are produced. We've got Japan, Austria, China, of course, the new one uh, up the road in Athens, Georgia. What this chart down here at the bottom shows us a lot of, a lot of slides, a lot of busy, busy numbers. This is Caterpillar's global mini excavator capabilities, production levels uh, that they can, they can do with all of these plants on board. See, starting back here in 2006, the total was about 13,500 machines. You come forward over here to 2014, we're in the 18,000 machine range. Pushing forward out to a projected in 2022, we're looking over 32,000 mini excavators that Caterpillar will be able to produce through these four factories. One thing I do want to point out, right here in 2013, of course, everybody in the room knows, the Athens plant launch. You can see here in this blue section, see how that grows as we go on? That's more and more production coming out of the Athens plant 